Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. It's me, Ibelia Sadulio, a teacher and profession whose passion is to do video tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to make a special birthday banner using Microsoft Publisher 2016. But before we start, I want to say hi to my SPJ grade 9 students of Summer National School. Thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. Okay, let us start now. Let us open Microsoft Publisher 2016. Okay, here we will not use the built-in template but the featured template. So just uh, click this one, the event banner, and then wait a few minutes. Then click create. So we'll just wait for a few minutes because I have a very slow connection. Okay, there we have already letters here. Which, which says happy birthday. So I will just change or add some more. So instead of having this one, a small letter, I will change this one to capital letter. And then we have happy. And then we have here the space. And then I will also make this one capitalized. Then we go downward. So I will include the name of the birthday celebrant. So therefore, I need to add additional page here. So what will I do is to click insert, click page, and uh, this one, insert page. That is if you want to have a design. Then create one text box on its page after current page and then you choose here your style let us see you have copy of C then okay there and let us say you want to add some more insert again copy insert page then choose Another style, okay, there. And one more. It depends on how many letters you will add. Okay. okay. So let us start here. So we will make the first box here a uh, space so we'll not uh, write anything in there so we will use the second one so what are we going to do is to insert click insert again and to text box and just click and drag click and drag and then you can follow the font style here. The style of font here is uh, you have Franklin Franklin Gothic and the uh, font size is 350. So let us follow. So font size is 350. You can just type it in here. 350. And uh, you can select same uh, style as what is given. This one, Franklin Gothic Heavy. And you can change the style, you can change the style. You can color or you can remove the, 
the feel. Let us see black. If you want to use the black one. Yeah. Let us type. Make it at the center. So, yeah, this one. There. See this one, the black one. Capital key. Then you just copy this one to click. Then, home, copy. Then you can just paste it here. Uh, paste another one we just transfer it here the other side okay then change the letter um, You can change this one if you do not like the, the black one or the black color. So what we will do is just to go back and then format. You can choose this one. And then you need to highlight first. Okay. Let's see you want this color or you can change any style here. Let's see this one. You can also do that. Right there, there is already a line. So you will do the same in here. Just click this one and this one, and then another one. You can remove actually the outline. You can just stop here. Text outline and text fill. Then you proceed to the other one but do not forget to copy copy paste paste another one paste Let's transfer this one here And then change this to and make it space again. And also another page. So I will insert at least two more. Another one. So very simple, very easy. Okay. And then make this one also a space. So we will start here. But then do not forget to copy and paste. So we still have the paste. One minute. Paste. And paste. Right here. Apps. Stop. Oh. Let's move that way. Okay. Then here, another. Move again. Mm. And 
then another another page okay now how the letter is Then paste again. Paste. And another one. Move this one also to the other side. And this one, you can make this. And now we are done with the letters. Uh, you can save your project and you can uh, already print this one or you can print your project. So just click file, print. And you can see here the different uh, letters so there are actually fourteen pages so this is our page one page two page three four five six page seven page eight Page 9 up to 14. So up after you print this uh, 14 pages, so what you will do is just to uh, cut this one in half here. And then you make a hole here. And you can connect all the pages with a string. And make sure that you print your project in a photo paper so that it will look as beautiful as pictures. And so we are done, my dear viewers. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Okay, do not forget to subscribe at the bottom of this video and uh, see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.